Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mokalover and thank you for joining me here. So right now we're taking a look at the Chichen Itza Focus Tree. So, I didn't realize this last time, but for a while, the deal with the AI Focus that one of my commenters left me yesterday, so thank you very much for leaving that comment, told me that at the end of the last episode we had a bunch of these complete. I did not realize that deal with the AI was still over here and could be completed. So we had the robots of Moctezuma, prepare fallback lines, which we didn't really use. We would prepare industrial evacuations and stuff like that. And then, uh, if you need to read that one, there you go. And then, prepare resource evacuations, you know. And then, resurgence and a reconquest. Very nice. Now, I, do, I brought this up just because I can't do It's a Reign Supreme, which doesn't make sense. And just like that, we have done it. All who stand, who stood to face us have either fallen or bowed before the might of Itza and their people. Mesoamerica is ours, and all our historic arrivals and enemies are no longer there to stop us. We are empowered, driven, and now it's time to use our momentum and ensure that the Itza empire is immortalized in history forever. We can't do this. I'm really disappointed that we can't do this because I think it'd be great, but we I don't believe we can't do this. Just because we need settlers move in. And to do that, you gotta go up this entire part of this focus tree, which means we have to deal with the technocrats, which means I either have to play as Carlos Franco or complete total mobilization. And total mobilization is the focus for Carlos Franco. So we can't do that side of the focus tree, which means we can't go down and move settlers in, which means we can't do It's a Reigns Supreme. So I really think that this might or at least should get changed because you should at least complete two out of these three. Just because you can't deal with the technocrats doesn't mean you can't, you know, be supreme. I mean, we're supreme here, but, uh, yeah, I think this shouldn't be locked behind three separate focuses, or maybe even four, technically, but really three. Uh, I think it really should be two, just because at this point in the game, it doesn't make sense that we can't get that focus because we almost have all of Mexico underneath us. But anyways, that's just a little bit of a observation I have had. So, right now, what are we doing? That's a good question. Well, we are justifying on Zapata. We have 40 days left, so we better speed up time. And they're getting killed by Imperio Mexicano, which is actually not doing as well as I had thought. Um, ooh, what do we want to research? We're running out of things to research, because we are only civilized folks. Robots. I was thinking about using robots, but right now, I don't know. I'm not feeling robots anymore. I mean, robots were pretty key in the, in the last campaign. But now, mm, I don't know. Mm, you guys are okay. So, eh, we could probably use logistic companies on some of these guys. Eventually, maybe we'll take out some anti-tank and put some logistic companies on them instead. That might help. But, let's see. We are going towards Zapata. And that's basically our main goal. And as soon as we are done justifying on Zapata, we'll justify on Maximilian. And have almost all of Mexico done. Yeah, Zapata... We got 32 some days left. We got ballistic fibers for more hardness for our soldiers. Oh, SF kits. Special forces kits. Nice. Thank you very much. So we'll do that, and then we'll get ready to go to war with Maximilian. And then the Sinaloa Cartel. And then probably go to war with Volpus' Legion if they win against Kaisar's Legion. But who is winning right now? I'm getting hungry. Ooh. Oh. Holy crap. Kaisar is definitely not winning. His Legion. Or Lanius is part of the Legion. It's not winning. Oh, baby. But you never know. Let's, let's take a quick look at them. Ooh. Immortal Empire. Non-core manpower plus 40%. That's okay. They don't have a lot of manpower. They got a lot of divisions. Volpus' Legion has just as many divisions, if not more, and a little bit less manpower. Factory-wise, Lanius definitely has more. And if I sound a little loud, I don't know why. I just I'm speaking out a little bit more. I'm not sure why. And the Volpus definitely has a little bit more of a navy. Mm. Cool, I had some coffee here too, but I was going to drink it, but it's a little hot right now. It's a little hot. We got a lot of political power. I love it. Oh, there we go. Second four-year plan. Following the success of the previous four-year plan, we've decided to draft up a new plan and once again direct the economy towards a single goal. The same four targets as in the last plan have been proposed. If we decide to focus on the same goal as in the last plan, we can use our experience in from the last plan to double down on it. Though this will be slightly detrimental to the other three areas. Choose wisely. Double down on construction. Focus on production. Uh, focus on resource exploitation. 
or nf it's dot 30 dot f i love that one uh, probably don't do that one apparently last time we did construction but i think construction's okay we're running out of things to uh build I uh, get a little bit more research speed, less factory output. Nah, focus on production. We could really use more resources. So let's go with that. Resource efficiency gain plus 10%, plus 5% infrastructure construction speed. That sounds like fun. And other than that, I would love to do this branch of the tree. Oh well, whatever. Um, Over here is alright. Looks pretty much done. I could do loyalty through love, but let's be real here. Our woman's going to choose her own suitor. She's not going to get married to some third-rate country that's a puppet underneath us no 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 and uh dockyard output dockyard construction speed i'm not really focused on constructing naval ships right now so i'm not going to do it Ooh, what is this we need fully controlled by the chichen it's an empire toxla gutierrez huh and if you want to read that you can go right ahead read that i'll read that maybe if we actually are able to do it uh, otherwise, anyways, we will go ahead and do suppress our subjects because we love suppression. Actually, it's a good idea to check. So, both of these guys are slowly getting lower and lower, which is nice. I could speed it up, though. Maybe annex one of these guys first. Oh, look at all this we're producing. Yes, please. Oh, we already built up all of Honduras. Mm. Build that there. We could probably use that. Oh, build that there, too. Oh, nice. Um, so it's still, actually, what's, so it's still, no, they were, this will help anyways, whatever. Alright, so we justified on them, Imperio Mexicano, you are next, because this war shouldn't last too long for us. But then again, it just might. Oh, I'm also training some soldiers. Um, I'm not really going to use a lot of soldiers for this war, as you can tell. So, yeah, you guys go right on ahead, when you can. U30 divisions are over here, guarding against this big old line, but something tells me they won't be able to hold against us, and we have our Honduran divisions over there. Cool. I really don't want to use you, because then you'd get more liberty, but whatever. Go right ahead, doesn't really matter. Oh, wait, I told... I didn't give you guys orders. Yeah. Not always thinking here, too, too far ahead. Um, give him a few days. How long does it take to plan... Oh, 2.6 bonus each day? Uh, well, go right ahead. That's fine. We want this war over as fast as possible anyways. Oh, uh, we got some planes here. Having a good time. Some close air support. We got a ton of gliders. Holy cow. That's a lot of gliders, but no extra air support. That sucks. Mm, motorized vehicles. I don't even use motorized vehicles. I actually... I might have used a single division of motorized vehicles. Um... When I was playing as the NCR when I first played this campaign. But since then, I haven't played them at, uh, at all. Ooh, they lost 13,000 men. Nice. You killed 1.1 thousand of Zapata's soldiers. Ooh. We actually fought, saw, fought, saw a little bit of naval action. Interesting. Very nice, my friends. Very nice. Alright. Good, good, good. We can't really do very much. It looks like we're still fighting with swords or something. I think... That we got a lot of guns. I mean, I guess we're using a little bit of basic melee weaponry. Yeah, I don't need basic melee weaponry. We have M1 Garands. Uh, yeah, we don't need all this extra stuff. Uh, whatever, it doesn't really matter. We're still producing some more divisions, which we will definitely need. We're producing some Coast Guard divisions, as well as some better Spec Ops divisions, so that's pretty nice. Oh, wait. Research. Oh, there it goes. Oh, Kaiser lost. Well, officially, Kaiser's. Legion is now Vulpus's Legion. Nice. Engine order telegraph. Ooh. Yes, please. There we go. Not too bad. And like last time, I will divide this up between me and Maximilian. So obviously, I didn't get into the war too long, so I'm going to be a little bit more generous with what I take. So that looks pretty good. Maximilian can get the rest of this. I don't really care. Because I'm going to take him out anyways. Let's see. Very good. Now, this is going to be a little bit more of a challenge, and that's okay with me. Mm. Oh, right. So, um, it looks like from the top of things, you guys should come up there. Well, except I have an open hole right there. Um, the southern front, 
won't really be too much of a problem, hopefully. We have our own infantry right here, so actually put you under some other general for now. Mm, new commander. Jose Maria Corona. Hello. Hello there. Um, sure. Let's see. I just want you guys to guard against here. Obviously, I won't have a lot of divisions to guard against them, but whatever. I'm not really too worried about that. They don't have a ton of divisions, and we can just probably just march almost completely straight in into their army, into their land, so. Especially if we got all this piercing power. No worries. And then... Oh, one, two, three. Let's let time go on a little bit as we're doing this. Do that. Do that. One, two, three, four. Eh, let's do two. We don't need that many divisions on these guys. Two divisions should be good enough. Good enough. Come over there. Thank you. Thank you. I think that's the only three waterways. Or at least I hope so. Yep, that's still connected to us. Yeah. Five, and that leaves us with these guys over here. Very nice. Very good, very good, very good. Abundant harvest. Next year, ooh, advanced ballistic weaponry. Um, Yakuza, de Yakuza territories declared war on Klamath. Research speed goes down for 20% for four months. And then advanced ballistic weaponry. Do we... Do we... Oh, have advanced ballistic weaponry? Do we not? Advanced weaponry? Elite weaponry? Ballist, advanced ballistic common, warrior, but basic, advanced weaponry. Maybe that's it. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's try it. Lose a little bit of army XP, and that's okay. You guys are still moving around this, their uh, factories and stuff. Blah blah blah. It doesn't matter. Uh, resources. I could probably. Yeah, we should probably build up some resources. Let's see. Purification station. Sounds good to me. We need some more water. Radar? How's that looking? Well, with Tlaloc's lair, we're doing pretty darn good. well on that. You guys come up there. We'll put some more radar up there. Maybe put some radar right there. Oh. Do that. Do that. Just We're going to build up a lot of stuff in preparation for our war against good old Volpus's Legion. Actually, Tarwalkers got pretty thick. Oh, I gotta love coffee. Port Mall? Okay. Washington Brotherhood, what are you doing? You're fighting the troll war, it looks like. Ooh, wood treatment. Very nice. Oh, we can't go further on, that's right. That's okay. That's okay. What is this? Storage compartment? We already have one of these. It hurts your supply. Oh, no, that's, that should be better for your supply. Hurts your smack speed, which I really don't agree with. HP. Chance. Uh, doing this really wouldn't be beneficial unless we have even more max speed. Let's get some more wrought iron manufacturing. Oh, that hurts your speed too. Ooh. Well, we'll see what happens. Alright, our soldiers are pretty much placed. Our main army group will, of course, just go kind of ballistic with our spec ops in there as well. So, in the war against Kaisar, oh, they are, or I guess Vulpus, they're really ready to go. Um, yeah, Brotherhood's, oh, Brotherhood Slaves. Mm, follower slaves, brotherhood slaves. They get a double bonus to. Oh, if they get power armor. That's not good for us at all. Oh, it looks like they're just regulars. That's good. As soon as we go to war with Imperial Mexicano, we will go to war with Sinaloa Cartel. Um, for now, I know you guys sunk a couple ships. Go ahead and repair. We have time right now. No worries. Go ahead and repair. Do that as well. Uh, any spare ships? We do have a few ships, but they're not really ready to be taken out yet. Special Forces Kit. Nice. Very nice. Land Night Attack. Plus 20%. Oh, that's very interesting. Um, Recon Team. Thank you. Recon Team. Thank you. Very good. Can I upgrade some of these ships? Battle Barge Mark 2. Heavy Wood Hide. Storage Compartment. That's... Eh. Naval Ram. Nothing over there. We got really good radio communication. We got oars. Yeah, not much else for that. Um, how about our screen? Oh, we could probably do rate radar. Oh, yeah, that's not bad to do. Oh, do we have medium wood hides? That's pretty much it. 
just do that. I mean, it's not gonna. It's not like it's gonna be super important to get these done. So, now let time go on. Da da da. Go to Cancun Ka. Cancun Ka. Followed up to a can, a coup, and a ka. Yeah, we just definitely need more water. We need a crap ton of water. Um, yeah, we might as well get from our puppet. Since we're building stuff in there. They, everyone really doesn't like us, though. Our trade influence is too low. Well, you know what? If you won't trade with me, I'm just going to take it by force. Oh, there we go. Let's see. Ooh, before we do that, let's make sure we got enough oh, planes, perhaps. Gliders. Ooh, more monoplane attackers. Don't mind if I do. Um, I guess we're on that group, and then we could probably use some triplane attackers, gliders. It doesn't really matter what gliders we use; they're all right. Oh, they actually can do some close air support as well. It's not bad. Throw them over there, because why not? Awesome. Go ahead and justify on Sinaloa Cartel. Ninety days, and have a little bit of a good time with them. Oh, they have war goals against Volpus's Legion. Well, Maximilian. It has been nice knowing you. And you've already... I haven't lost that many guys, but whatever. Uh, they're using robots? It looks like they might be. Yeah, they definitely are using robots. And that's totally fine with me. Uh, air superiority, how is that looking? Over here, not too much. Over here, not too much either. Hmm. I'm also joined here by my cat named Binky. He's sleeping in the sunlight, just like he always does. Enjoying the beautiful sun's rays. Oh, we're attacking infantry. Interesting. Oh, Emilio, do you have something? No, okay. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. Ah, good old coffee. Oh, hello there. A couple convoys. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I'm um, good. Let's keep doing what we're doing. Engine order telegraph. Very nice. So effects of sustained critical hits, minus 4%. I like it. You guys, come over here. Doing and having a great time with all of our enemies. Let's see if we can build anything up around here some more. Anti-air. That sounds like it could be very well used down here. Build some of that guy up. Get some more divisions. Go ahead and push in. We've... Surrounded Linares. Linares. And we have another spec up division. Nice. A little laggy, and that's okay. So level will be next. Two more infantry divisions. And there goes Maximilian. Thank you for playing, Maximilian. You really didn't stand a single chance. Nice. Good job, guys. Alright, so, Sinaloa Cartel. Obviously, there doesn't look like there's as many waterways we can get into, and that's okay. So, you guys, focus you on the left. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do this. There you go. That's a little bit better. Even though he's got a gun, media personality, that's going to take forever for him to get over here, but that's okay. You guys, well, there's really not much else that we can do. So, how many divisions do they have? Alright, 32 to 38, that ain't bad. Hmm. How should I deal with them? Hmm. A single army group, maybe right here. Followed up with another single army group right up here. Followed up with another single army group right there. This might kill my supply, but we'll see what happens. And, of course, I want to use my Spec Ops to help push in. Maybe just a little bit right there. Uh, do these guys use... I don't think... These guys mostly use ghouls. I don't think they use anti-tank. I'm still going to keep making some anti-tank, but... Uh, yeah, I might just use logistic companies on my divisions. Well, after this war, we'll see what Sinaloa Cartel is up to. So, Washington Brotherhood might... But yeah, Volpus's Legion. I kind of wish they'd go to war with someone else right now. Just be oh no, well Romana. Just because that when we take them over, that means that means we don't have to go to war with anyone else or justify on more people. How far are they done with their focus? They went with SBQR. Good choice. Not a bad choice. Pax Perbellum. 
We do a Nova Roman. Ooh. That really gives him even more buffs. Ah, I love that coffee. Goddess Diana. Diana. Mmm. They're pretty much done with their own focus tree, so. Interesting. Very interesting. Oh, do we have any air bases around here? Oh, a special project pursued. Okay, well, whatever. Um, definitely build up as many air bases around here as possible. Awesome! That did give us advanced weaponry. That's what I thought it would, but I didn't really know. Good, 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 good stuff. Um, you have a naval base there. Oh, before I forget, let's see. Advanced weaponry. Oh, even better. Thank you, everyone. Oh, we're gonna need some more Coast Guard divisions. Probably. Well, when we take out Kaiser, we definitely will. Nice. Oh, over here. Oh, uh, yep. We're definitely gonna need a few more divisions. And that's okay. So many waterways. And we need two more divisions to properly secure everything. No problem, no problem. Dupel, do you have anything? No? Of course. Any of you guys? Ernesto? I doubt it. You're a really good general. He's almost level 7. We're 98% of the way towards becoming level 7 for him. Wrought iron manufacturing. Oh, light steel hide, steel layering, sure. Sounds like fun. Um, manage subjects. Well, things are going down even better and better. Um, I can't still produce water. I was going to produce some water pumps, but we got to wait for that. Ah, very good. Basic well pumps. Let's get some more. Water, water, water. What are you up to? Awesome, awesome. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, give me that water, boy. I love water, boy. Uh, planes. Close air support's not bad. Fighters, we got plenty of gliders. You know what? From here on out, let's go ahead and switch. Oh, I never change this up. But for upgrades, reinforcements are very important. But let's do upgrades as well. Just because I always leave this at, like, medium or even low. Just because I'd rather have equipment in the field than, you know, trying to replace a portion of of equipment it just doesn't make any sense to leave upgrades high until the very end game when you're pretty secure about doing everything let's see what happens when we go to war uh, after I deploy some planes mm, got plenty of gliders Ooh, even more monoplane attackers oh yeah that's too small of an airbase that's pretty normal um give them to our spec ops I love spec ops so much nice cool well let's see what happens and well, then, I mean, other than that, oh, actually, we get, might be able to go to war with Genta de Sol. Uh, that might be a little hard to get to, though. Just because they have a ton of divisions over there, I would have to navally invade. And that would definitely extend the front line I would have with Kaiser's Legion. And don't necessarily want to do that yet. So let's go ahead and justify on Volpus's Legion. They got a good amount of manpower, a lot of divisions. 120 days, and no one's attacking each other, which is fine. So, a lot of divisions, somewhat of a navy, not bad. Just go right on ahead. I'm not really too worried about this stuff, so. Oh, oh, maybe except over here. Yeah, they're not using any armor. They're using only ghouls. Yeah. Yep. That's what I had thought. Oh, they can pierce us, but everyone can pretty much pierce us. Yeah, I'm going, after this war, I'm going to replace anti-tank launchers with logistic companies, probably. Oh, actually, you don't even have any. You have anti-tank. But it does give you a little bit more air attack, but that doesn't really matter. It gives you a ton of piercing, a little bit more defense, a little bit more soft attack, a little bit more hard attack, a little more air attack. Fire teams, well, armor goes down, but you get more HP if I do that. They're already in battle, whatever. Just give them logistic companies. That'll help them out, maybe. Gotta keep an eye on our manpower. That's getting kind of a uh, low... I'm trying to avoid raising my manpower levels as much as possible. I don't want to do minimal exemptions, or even light exemptions, but whatever. Ooh, night vision de devices. Ooh. Power armor, we can skip that for now. Even though we are running out of things to do. Logistic companies, we might as well do that. There's no worries there. Very nice. Very good. Oh, uh, you know what? I guess I'll do that now. I, I really don't want to do this, but we have a lot of people under us. We got one point two one million core population and we're 
zero one thousand manpower. Let's see how much manpower we get after doing light exemptions, which hurts our stability a little bit, as well as construction speed, factory output, as well as training time. But shouldn't be too much of a cause of concern. Oh, I love spec ops so much when you're really focusing on them. I love them so much. Ah, very good. All right. Actually, with these guys, when we beat them up, do they have any water? They have a little bit right there. A little bit right there. Yeah, this part of probably is a deserty part of Mexico. It doesn't have a ton of water, and the day of Ka'an is counting down. What time is it? Oh, we are about 25-ish minutes into the game. Oh, and these guys are getting defeated. Hmm. That's not good. Which means... I'm going to take you guys. I'm going to throw you right here. Yeah, throw another, like, division over here or something. Hold on, one division. You got this. Losses. 257 versus 4,000. Not bad. Not bad whatsoever. Oh, we are not winning around here. That's okay. Maybe we can boost this up a little bit. We have air superiority, of course. Beautiful thing. Just, it's beautiful to have air superiority. Wear these guys down. Push that way. Doesn't really matter. We'll take losses, but whatever. Ooh, look at that manpower now. We already have 4,000 more. Take that, and then we can probably crush all these guys over here. Alright. And then you guys, when you can, just go and push. Go ahead and push. Two divisions. Can we win here? Maybe. But yeah, definitely put some logistic companies on these guys. Ooh, next year's harvest looks abundant. Now, it looks abundant, but will it actually be abundant? It probably will, but we don't know. Let's get some better armor. Go ahead and crush these guys, because why not? Why not? Cool. Very nice. And these guys will die. And, well, they're already... They're ghouls. They should already be technically dead. But whatever. Whatever, my friends. And send you guys to attack now as well. Very nice. Very nice. 7,000 versus 404. Divisions or manpower not found. 10,000 manpower. I love it. Love it. Love it. Very good. El Mul. El Muy. Jose Maria Corona, you're doing alright. You're learning a little bit, maybe. What are you learning? Not very much. <laughs> um, let's see, you got a couple emails. Whatever. Whatever. Yeah, guys. If you guys could just, like, really focus on taking these guys out, like, taking their capital, maybe. That would be lovely. Am I already justifying on Kaisar? Yeah, we are. Oh, we're actually almost ready to go to war with them. That's good. Damage control. Very nice. And then we'll have enables intercoms. Ooh. And then we'll have advanced well pumps. Nice. To get basic aquifers. Beautiful. Another division. Logistics 2. I love Logistics 2, but I prefer Logistics 3. Oh, and we have a little dead ghouls already. And they're gone. Nice. Andres Zapata, are you related to the guy we took out earlier? Hmm. Alright, spec ops, just go ahead and push him out of the misery. Push him out of the misery, not put him out of the misery, just push him out. Um, oh, we have a little bit of power armor as well, interesting. More infantry, thank you. Alright, yep. Who cares about that tile as long as we take the capital? That's all that flippin' matters. Cool. Alright, so I don't think that Kaisar should have too much power armor. It looks like they mostly have infantry, which is a great thing for us. So go ahead and take off that anti-tank. Throw on some logistic companies, because we will be fighting through some really garbage areas. Let's see. That, um, anti-tank, I could put on fire teams, but really, it doesn't give you that much more benefit. So I'm going to leave anti-tank on for our spec ops, just because. You guys, you're defending for us. Fire teams. This really doesn't matter either. Throw that on there, because why not? Cool. Alright then. Let's go ahead and get ready for the next episode then. So, 
we have quite the line. I'm actually going to need more divisions, probably. Hmm. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to break this up a little bit. So you two will come over here. Because I'll put you under a new army commander. And under Pablo de Cos. Of course, offensive type of guy. You three armies will be the main army over here. This might work, this might not. I'm going to use my puppet's armies as a kind of waterway defense. That's good. Let's see, that's over there. You, that's a lot of divisions, but they might not be able to break us over here. Let's do this over here. Just one full army. And then I'm going to use my spec ops wherever they're needed. But for you guys, we don't need to guard this. We don't need to guard that. We need to guard up here, though. Give me half of you guys. And... Well, maybe four divisions. This might be a bad idea to use these divisions to defend, but the next episode will tell us what it will be like. So, um, I guess I'll do this off screen. It might be a little easier. You might not want to watch me do this. But anyways, thank you very much for watching, guys. We have almost united all of Mexico, except for the Genta de Sol, Tohono Nation, a little bit of Volpas' land. But other than that, leave a like if you liked the video. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link below, and... I hope you all have a tremendous, great rest of your day. Thanks for watching.